Crossing alone. A local mother is worried elementary school kids are going to get hurt because they don't have a crossing guard. ABC Action News reporter Heather Lee shows us the obstacles that mom says they face all the time and what law enforcement is doing to fix it. The Zephyr Hills Police Department says it tries to get out here and help these folks cross the street safely. You can see they are here today, but that mom says when they can't make it, drivers refuse to stop and appear to speed. Angel English Smith isn't feeling good about her son's walk to school. He is a second grader, seven, seven years old, ADHD. I can't expect him to stay on the sidewalk. I just can't. I expect adults to follow the laws. But she says many drivers aren't outside West Zephyr Hills Elementary. She says these videos prove it. We do have signs um, and blinking lights when children are coming and going from the school and people are not stopping. It's against the law to not stop for someone in an active school zone attempting to cross in a crosswalk. It's a scary situation out here. And because the Zephyr Hills Police Department doesn't currently have a crossing guard program, English Smith says many kids have to do it alone when officers can't be there. My hugest concern is the children's safety. When I tell you to come across the road, I want you to look both ways and make sure there's nothing coming for you across right. the road. But the police department says it is listening. Our cameras caught this Zephyr Hills police officer pulling a person over this afternoon for speeding in a school zone. And three weeks ago, they sent an officer to a crossing guard training seminar, hoping to train volunteers as a more permanent solution. It is very sad. It is very sad. And, and I'm glad that things are progressing. I hope that they do. But more parent involvement would fix so many problems. The Zephyr Hills Police Department says it will have a crossing guard program sometime next year. In Zephyr Hills, Heather Lee, ABC Action News.